let's start today's video which is for grade 9 elite we are covering math exam coverage for end of term term 3 and today we are doing part 1 learning objective 3 let's start important video with this learning objective determine if a function is 1 1 and on 2 so here in this question if you see carefully you are given the value of the variables a b and c and you have to evaluate in question 1, 2, 3 and 4 the value of each expression. So here we are going to do very simple um, calculations. We are going to just uh, replace the value of the variable with the number and its value which is given. So let's calculate 4a minus 3. So here the variable which is given is a. So I'm going to replace a value with minus 3. So this becomes 4 multiplied with minus 3 minus 3. So 4 multiplied with minus 3 is going to give us minus 12 and we are going to subtract minus 3 so the result is going to be minus 15. Remember these two are negative integers so when I uh, combine them I add 12 plus 3 and take the common minus sign. Let's simply uh, now simplify the next question. Here we have two variables b and c so we are going to replace the value of b with number 4 and the value c with minus 2. So 2 multiplied with b that is 4 minus 5 multiplied with c that is minus 2. So 2 multiplied with 5 gives me an 8. Minus 5 and minus 2 on multiplication will give me plus and 5 multiplied with 2 is 10. So 8 plus 10 is going to give me 18 as the answer. Next we calculate the value of this quadratic expression. Here it is in quadratic expression because the degree is 2, the variable is b. So we put the value of b, b is 4 given in the question. So I am just replacing everywhere b with the value 4 and finding the value of this expression. So 4 multiplied with 4 that is the value of 4 square which is 16 minus 3 multiplied with 4 is 12 plus 6. So this is going to give me 16 plus 6 that is 22 and minus 12 that is 10 as the final answer. Last but not the least we calculate the expression 2a plus 4b divided by c here if you see all three variables are there so I'm going to put in place of a value minus 3 in place of b value 4 and in place of c value minus 2. So let's calculate the numerator of this fraction first. So 2 multiplied with minus 3 is going to give me minus 6 plus 4 multiplied with 4, 16 divided by minus 2. So 16 minus 6 divided by minus 2. On simplifying, this gives me 10 divided by minus 2. So the final answer is minus 5. So for question number 1, the final answer is minus 15. For question 2, the final answer is 18. For question 3, the final answer is 10. And for question 4, the final answer is minus 5. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Stay glued to my channel, Mathematics Made Easy. Uh, for more such revision videos for grade 9 elite, Coming up next on my channel is the next video on learning objective 4. So stay glued. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more revision videos. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's video. See you in my next video. Bye students.